Bangor in yellow and blue hosted Dungannon United Youth in yellow in the under-15 NIBFA plate quarter-final. Dungannon were first to go on the offensive. Olivia Gutierrez and Adam McConville were involved in the build-up. Adam Wright shot field to test Ben Fry. Five minutes later, Matthew Thomas Smith was unlucky to see his goal-bound shot cleared off the line by Jordan Ross and Bangor cleared the ball to safety. Having soaked up early Dungannon pressure, Bangor took a 35th minute lead. Ben Gordon's free kick somehow made it through United's rear guard, allowing Sam Gillen to side foot home. Well, that lead lasted all of four minutes. This Marito Marsa free kick at the start of the second half gave Fry no chance whatsoever in Bangor's goal. That sublime free kick settled Dungannon, who were starting to exert their authority through the central midfield. Marcel in particular, McConville's effort off target on this occasion. And when Bangor's Jordan Ross could only pick out Fintan Coney in Dungannon's goal, Coney's long ball downfield brought about confusion between Ben Fry and Rory McLaughlin, allowing Adam Wright the easiest of opportunities to make it 2-1 with 23 minutes to play. Peter Bell then saw his header cleared off the line by a combination of Jordan Ross and Fry as Dungannon pushed for a third goal at the Sportsplex. And Bell must have wondered what he had to do to score. Adam Glenny's corner was headed goalwards by Bell, but again cleared off the line. And Bangor breathed again when the ball ran out for a goal kick. The Dungannon onslaught continued. Ethan McGee fed Adam Wright to cross for Thomas Smith, who couldn't direct this header on target. And as the game approached full time, United kept coming forward. Rory Clark and McGee linking up well, but Fry showed good composure to take the ball in the air on this occasion. Dungannon thought they might have increased their lead before the end. Mark Carlton's bundled effort was ruled out correctly for a foul on Fry. Full time from the Sportsplex, Bangor 1, Dungannon United Youth 2. Very happy. Um, didn't know what to expect coming down here. Um, players, Bangor, in my opinion, outstanding. Um, had a Done as the man says, done a bit of homework on them and looked at the, the position after playing them. Definitely are not <laughs> really that position that they're in. You know what I mean? I would put them well up mid table and above. You know, so, but yeah, very happy to get the result. Very, very happy to get them. Okay, I'm Stephen. Uh, boys play very, very well. Um, cup game, a uh, bit of a distraction from the league. So it was nice for them uh, to, you know, to pit, their, pit themselves against a, a National League A team. So we, we set the stall out early, we knew what we were going to expect from them coming down, uh, being at that level of football. Um, I asked them, I asked them to go out and, and, and give them everything and, and, and that's what they did from the first whistle. Um, we, we went 1-0 up just before half time which was great going into the second half but probably always knew it was going to be a game of two halves, it was an old cliche but a game of two halves, battling against the win second half um, and that's what it proved to be. Duncanon, uh, very, very talented footballing side.